On Saturday, January 9th, meteorologists at the National Weather Service in Ruskin were keeping an eye on severe weather. The many uh, violently rotating thunderstorm updrafts in the Gulf, and as they would come closer to our cooler waters, they would fizzle out. The storms were falling apart as they moved on land, but the storm moving on to Cape Coral didn't follow the same pattern as the others. It re-intensified, and at around 6.45 p.m., an EF2 tornado touched down in southwest Cape Coral, leaving behind a 3.4-mile trail of destruction. At uh, about 6.47-48, we noticed the rapid intensification of the rotation and issued the tornado warning. The tornado warning went out at 6.50, five minutes after the tornado touched down. Now, the Weather Service is looking into ways to better forecast for fast developing storms that move on shore. After every major event, like the Cape Coral tornado, the team that worked the event uh, does a write-up and best practices and things that we can improve. And they're in the process of creating that right now. And uh, we can learn from every event and improve our warning services. Another question. Will there be more tornadoes like the one in Cape Coral? The answer, possibly. The reason, El Nino. El Nino changes where the location of the upper level jet stream is. And on Saturday, it was flowing right over southwest and central Florida. To have an EF2 tornado in southwest Florida, it's very uncommon. And in fact, if you're going to get one, it's going to be during an El Nino winter and spring. And that's what we are in right now. I'm meteorologist Mary Mays, Wink News Now.